days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet. Hey everyone, so my first recipe is the chocolate glazed donut and all you're going to need is some blanched almond flour and then you're going to need some baking soda for this and this one is the dry ingredients and then you're going to get another bowl for your wet ingredients and you're going to take some maple syrup, you're going to take the almond extract, some vanilla extract, some coconut oil, make sure that coconut oil is melted though. Then you're going to take some apple cider vinegar and you're going to take two eggs at room temperature, whites and yolks separated, and you're going to put the yolks in it and then you're going to mix it all together and you're going to keep the whites in another bowl. Then you're going to mix the two bowls together and you're going to have the dry and the wet mixed together and then you're going to go take those whites from the eggs and you're going to make it kind of like a meringue. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'm not really like a really good cook so I don't know what the technical term is. Then you're just going to take it and you're going to like put little bit by bit and you're going to fold it in. So if you guys can tell, I, I put half of that in and I fold it and then once I folded most of it in, you put the other half in. And that's just kind of how I did it so they become light and fluffy. Then you're going to take some coconut oil and put that in um, the pan and then you're going to put the actual product in there and do it for 350 and it'll bake for about like 10 to 12 minutes until or until it's like lightly golden, you know and then you pick something to put on top of it. So I personally picked some Nutella because I wanted some chocolate, but you know, they come out really pretty. And I put Nutella on it. You guys can pick whatever you want though. So that's it for that. Now we're going to go on to the zucchini brownies. These are my absolute favorite. Like if I had to pick out of these things, this one is my favorite. So I lost a lot of the footage for this also, but basically what you need is five ounce dark chocolate, coconut oil, two eggs, one fourth cup raw honey, vanilla extract, almond extract, blanched almond flour, unsweetened cocoa powder, baking soda, salt, and zucchini that's shredded. And then you're going to mix that all together and you're just going to, obviously, you're still mixing it. And it's just like a brownie mix and it works really well and the shredded zucchini works perfectly in this. And you can always like turn it into mush if you really want to, <laughs> like I did. And then you're just going to pour it into your pan. I took the flour and put it in it so it doesn't stick to the actual pan. And this one was an 6x6 or something. And then you're just going to take it out and that's what it looks like. It's so delicious you can't even tell that it's zucchini brownies. Like it tastes like regular brownies. Then you can take it on the go wherever you want to go. So the next is the ice cream sandwich. And this one's probably the most simple one because all you really need is banana almond butter, vanilla extract, which you only need a little bit with the almond butter and you're going to mix that together, and then you need a wooden skewer and chocolate. So basically what you're going to do is take that almond butter and vanilla and you have that mixed or whatever kind of flavoring or mixture you want to put inside of the little ice cream sandwich, and then you're just going to put that like that, and then what you want to do is put that in the freezer while you're waiting for the chocolate from the double broiler to melt. So if you guys feel like doing that, then that will like help it maintain its shape. And you put coconut oil in that and then it will like help it, you know, melt and mix together rather than having like a hard piece of chocolate so you can dip it. And I never knew you could do this, so this was kind of fun for me. And then you're just going to dip it or you can put a spoon and kind of like drizzle it on. And that's what I did. I had eight of these, so the recipe that I have down below makes eight. And that's basically, this one took like very little time, like 20 minutes. And that's all I have for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Bye!